Hi friends, this is Sketch Dirt and I'm Marla and today we are drawing pine cones and evergreen branches. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to share a little bit of video with you that I took this weekend after the snowstorm. Uh, this was a huge inspiration for the video this week. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I am drawing on 11 by 14 inch Bristol board paper. I am using 2B, 4B, 6B, and 8B pencils for drawing. And to start out here, I'm lightly sketching in the basic shape of the pine cone. This is just a rough starter so that I have just some guidelines for going forward for the actual shape of the piece. So when you do this, basically what I did is I started the top and I, I just drew in that basic uh, top shape and I did this really really roughly the thing about drawing uh, a pine cone that I found is that things are gonna look um, pretty rough before it gets better and um, I think that's what makes drawing pine cones probably more difficult than other things is that you really don't start to see it looking realistic or really looking how you want it to look until you've put some time into it. It doesn't show up right away. But once you get started with that initial top piece, you start roughly sketching in the rest of those um, little pieces that make up the entire pine cone. And there is a pattern to this. There is a geometry. And that's why um, I showed that video to begin with is because like going outside, um, seeing what actual pine cones look like on the trees and really studying them to see that geometry and see that pattern that um, you really only find in nature. It's so like perfect and, and beautiful and just um, it's kind of like the way all of nature is set up. There's a bit of an order to everything in the middle of, of it looking like it's it's there isn't an order. That's what's so amazing. That's what I find personally so amazing about nature. Um, so what I'm doing now is again just lightly sketching this in and when you do this like like I'm doing right here, don't just get the basic pieces in and don't pay, I would recommend don't pay a lot of attention to really specific details because as we go through here and as we build up layers of uh, shading and detail and dimension, all of that starts to uh, come through and, and, and show up and reveal itself. So when it first starts out, like I said, don't panic at how uh, rough it starts looking. And I'm just going through now and just erasing that like outer guideline. Like usually in my drawings and usually in my videos, I leave that in because it it doesn't detract from the drawing. But I found here that it, it helps to erase that, that guideline for going forward. And I'm just taking my uh, 2B pencil and very lightly shading in the um, background of those pieces. And I'm just leaving the uh, most like front part of the pieces, or how do I say, the part that's like closest, those, the lighter color part of the pine coat pieces, I'm just leaving that alone and just getting uh, the shading in. And I'm taking a 2B pencil now and adding another layer of really light shading and starting to add in little details just bit by bit and that's what this is going to be is that like bit by bit I'm I'm adding in the details as opposed to doing it all at once um, at least with my drawing style I really like to add in those details almost as soon as possible I, I get like really impatient I want to start seeing the actual uh, piece or what I have in my mind like very quickly but it does not necessarily work here with a pine cone because if you start adding in those details uh, too quickly, the piece actually starts looking, um, at least in the pieces when I was practicing, it starts looking a little mushy, it starts looking a little bit um, undefined or even not even like a pine cone. And so right now, uh, like I said, I'm adding in that layer, I'm adding in 
bits and pieces of details, but as you see when we go through here, um, all of this is kind of softened out. All the details are either uh, further defined or, or pushed back a bit, and that's why you kind of do it, you do it lightly, you, um, because we're, we're going to build that up so that you have the control over it so it doesn't just look... Um, Light, like a mush of just light and dark elements. And really, really be uh, patient with yourself. Like this video is about 15 minutes because um, I sped everything up. But when I sat down and really drew this, it, it took about an hour. Like I really just uh, took my time with all of the elements and, um, and really just looked at the pine cone to look at the details and really uh, study what I was looking at and actually just enjoy it. Like really, when you're drawing, um, do what feels good. Like really, drawing should feel good because like you're really, this is you expressing yourself. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't feel like, uh, like torture. <laughs> So now I'm taking the lighter pencil, that 2B pencil, and I'm going through and I'm sh lightly shading the entire pine cone. And this does a couple things. First of all, we're adding kind of like that first layer of, of color and tone to the most um, front part of the pine cone. And then uh, I'm also knocking back some of the shading and blending in some of the shading that I had just done. And you'll see now I'm doing a similar thing with the darker pencil. I'm taking that 2B pencil, and what I'm doing now is I'm building up more um, tone and, and making it darker, but I'm also blending out all of the shading that I've done up until this point. Like what I'm trying to do is really soften it out as, a, as opposed to making it look really harsh and really extreme in terms of light and dark and and before you could really see those those pencil marks and now I'm trying to just blend it out and that's why I'm saying like when you're first starting out just be patient and don't really focus so much on making it perfect because you're going to end up um, blending out those details and now I've picked up uh, a darker pencil. I've picked up my 6B pencil, and I'm really putting in definition this time. And again, I'm. this is a bit, you'll see it's uh, a bit extreme, um, but don't, don't get, again, don't get worried about that because like I'm putting in uh, a lot of detail. I'm making the lights and darks much more extreme, but... Um, what you'll see after this is that I go through and soften out those extreme like outlines and details and just soften it up because what I really want to do is like I said at the very beginning is have control over how dark the dark areas gets and really have um, control over like the detail of the lighter areas that are that are in the front that kind of make up that beautiful pine cone shape. Okay, and what you'll see right here is I'm putting in, I'm finally putting in like the little details, the little plant-like elements of the uh, front part of the pine cone. I've waited this long to do that. Like we're really nearing the end of the piece and I'm finally putting those details in as opposed to doing that at the very beginning of the piece. Uh, and this is where I'm blending out those elements. I'm really trying to make it um, still keep the pine cone definition, but uh, soften everything up. Because when you look at my actual pine cone, um, those elements aren't so uh, segmented. It almost looks like one solid mass. But uh, that's not what it. That's not how the piece is. Uh, composed and made up and you'll see here too I'm adding in these little spiky elements that's part of the pine cone too and when you add in those really specific details it helps with making it look more realistic 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm taking an evergreen branch and I'm going to put this in the background. And when you first look at this, it can be a bit overwhelming because you're like, where do I start? Like all the leaves of the evergreen branch, there's so many of them. Do I put all of them in? Do I make it very sketchy and kind of just give the impression? Uh, what we're going to do today is a little bit of both. We're going to put in a lot of those leaves, but then we're also going to uh, give the impression of fullness and, and the evergreen branch without having to put in all of that detail. And the way that I start that is I just put in the basic branch shape with my lightest pencil, and I just lightly uh, pencil that in because that's, as you can see, it's not actually showing up. Uh, what I'm doing next is I'm just drawing straight lines and I'm just putting in those straight lines you're gonna we're gonna go back and we're gonna put in the leaf shape but it will really help you out to just put in straight lines because those leaves have such a specific shape that if you just try to draw that shape one by one I think at least for me my hand gets a bit tired and I start getting a bit sloppy with it and so this is a trick to keep from getting a bit sloppy you're going to draw these lines in you're going to draw this basic shape in to keep it looking sharp and crisp and as you can see here now I'm starting in to draw the rest of the leaf shapes and I'm really working to try to keep it um very crisp and clean and uh, I'm drawing in a few extra lines and this is what I'm doing to start adding in that fullness because as you can see like even with drawing in the leaf shapes the leaves it, it the branch still looks a bit sparse it still looks a bit like like it doesn't have all the fullness that that like the uh, branch that I'm holding does and I just you just be very patient and do this leaf by leaf. And trust me, being patient and taking your time actually makes it go quicker because you get the exact shape that you want right off the bat as opposed to hurrying and not quite being happy with it and having to go back and maybe erase or um, try it one more time. But that is fine too. Whatever your style is, um, definitely learn that so that you know how to draw best like pay attention to what your style is so I've picked up a darker pencil here and I'm kind of shading in the leaves and I'm also adding detail but I'm not making it super crisp super defined it's it's very like um the lines are a bit spaced out and it's it's not necessarily as uh, crisp as, as before. And this is to help add the fullness that you see without really drawing every single specific leaf. And I just go through and I do a bit of shading. I put in a few extra lines. I add some definition to the leaves and um, I just keep doing this until I'm happy with the look of it. And what you'll notice here too is I'm not making this as dark as the pine cone. This is part of um, the composition of the piece. And when you're drawing, that's what you'll want to focus on too, is how do all the elements work together? How does your picture, um, how does everything kind of work out to make the entire piece of what you're drawing? Um, and right now I'm adding, I've taken the 8B pencil, and this is to add a bit more detail, a bit more like uh, add to the dimension of the piece without getting really specific and doing this to every leaf. Like this just helps add like uh, character and define that shape. And I'm taking uh, my lightest pencil and just roughly shading it in to add fullness and soften out that detail from the darker pencil because I, I, I want to keep it like I want to keep it sharp and crisp, but I also want to soften it out. 
and that's it. That's the piece. Thank you so much for watching. This is Sketch Dirt. I'm Marla. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and if you have any comments, definitely leave those below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching.